Young Pharaoh being abducted by aliens. Now, he did a video with Tasha K, an interview, which she gave a small snippet of that interview of him talking about his experience being abducted by aliens. And you have people online, of course, that's saying that he need to come off the mushrooms or he smoked too much or like Tasha K asked him about the books that he read and maybe that was the reason why he had that experience. But Pharaoh gave certain details. I believe him. And this is not the first time that he mentioned that he was abducted by aliens. He mentioned it some years ago. But I don't think people really paid much attention to that. Until now, he given details. And I'm going by what I personally experienced in my life from a child coming up. And I spoke on some of those things on my dream channel. Which now I teach Bible on that channel, but I also uh, record my dreams on there. And I've seen some pretty quite weird things. And I've had encounters with some quite strange beings. And a lot of what I've experienced and heard, I don't speak on because I know that people can't really grasp the spirit realm, although they call themselves spiritual. But when you talk about spiritual experiences, you lose them. They can't relate to that. Their mind can't go there. And I'm going to let you listen to this clip, fair use, but their mind can't go there because they've never had that experience. So you have people that say they speak to their ancestors or their ancestors communicate with them, the dead ancestors. They say they believe in God. They say they believe in demons. Um, there's people that practice witchcraft and voodoo, you know, and they say that uh, these um, demons give them power, give them certain powers. They watch over them. They uh, do spells and expect uh, these demons to work for them. But yet when you hear stories like young Pharaoh and what he encountered, you're quick to say that he's on drugs and that he's losing his mind. Pharaoh's problem, in my opinion, is not mental illness. I think it's more spiritual in nature. Um, it's different when you encounter certain things from a child coming up because you're groomed into that. You came into the world with certain talents and gifts. But when you reach a certain age and you start channeling things and you start dabbling to the unseen and you open yourself up to that spirit realm and something comes in and take possession of you and you start acting out according to the nature of that being that possesses you, then you lose your mind. You lose yourself because you weren't prepared for that. Your mind wasn't prepared for that. Your emotions, your spirit was not prepared for that. Whereas as a child, you have nightmares and dreams and things come to you and talk to you like I've experienced and I spoke on that on my dream channel. You had those experiences. You come up and you go through that nightmare stage. You wake up screaming and your mom's coming there and uh, check on you to make sure everything is okay. And then as you mature and get older, it becomes second nature to you. It doesn't bother you. So like if certain things may appear before me now, it doesn't bother me. It may startle me because you don't expect it, but I'm not afraid of it. Right. And I might even try to dialogue with it. 
with that being. Even now, I, I, I noticed lately I travel a lot more to other dimensions in my sleep. And like I mentioned in a prior video on my dream channel, this place is now that I go and people or these beings know me. You know, it's like my neighbor next door. If I walk outside and I see my neighbors, I'll talk to them. They know who I am. Well, that's how it is now when I travel to certain places. It's like the minute I close my eyes, I'm in this place. And I may visit certain homes or places to see certain beings, to talk to them. It's like we have a connection or a relationship, a friendship, right? So I'm not quick to bash Pharaoh. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind sitting down talking to him, learning more about his experience. I don't look at him as crazy. I don't look at what he say as crazy. I find it interesting. But I'm going to let you listen to this brief dialogue between he and Tasha K. Now, Tasha K had asked him about him licking his tongue and why does he do that? And of course, he played it off. That's his, you know, that's his swag. That's a part of his personality. But if you watch Pharaoh's videos, there's a snake, an image of a snake, sometimes in his background with the tongue hanging out. Pharaoh does what that snake does. Sometimes he'll lean back in the chair with that one arm up displaying that symbol on his biceps. Does he do that purposely? Is he, aware, is he aware that he does that? I don't know, but that's almost like that snake, that cobra that has, um, when a cobra get ready to strike, you see that look like fan comes out. Well, that could be a part of the spirit that entered him, that serpent-like spirit that possesses him. And he just got a habit of just licking his tongue and he does it unaware. But listen to this brief interview between Pharaoh and Tasha K. Nah, I think that y'all are not aware of certain shit. And see, that's... I got abducted so, before by extraterrestrials. What? Do you believe that? Look me in my what eyes. What the fuck? No, absolutely eyes. fucking Look not. Because I'm still here Look on the internet. Eyes. Where is the hell? Look no. Me my eyes. No. And tell me, I, tell me I'm lying. You're lying. That's the problem. I'm aware of something you're not. We're going to see, though. What's it? up with your tongue? Why are you always on your tongue like this? I don't know. Part of my personality. I like to flick my tongue out. Part of my swag. Part of my micro expression. Okay. I don't know. But I'm, a, I'm aware. What? I'm aware of something on the. What? I'm aware of shit so that tell me what happened when you were abducted. Before we move on, I to told this story like five times already. Okay, I haven't heard this particular me, story. Okay, I'm, I'm sure my viewers have been heard it. Right now. Okay, tell me. I was on a table, and my body was on a table. Okay. And I was on a ship, and it was all metal, like a spoon. And and I was I was looking down on my body, and my body was like chest down, looking at the back of my head, and there was some beings operating on my thirty third vertebrae. And it felt like they was, they was, it felt like when you take two wires and you touch them. And they kept going like that with my, with my, I don't know what it was, don't have me get the line. But it was right here. And it was, I could look all around me, but I couldn't look to the right. It was a being right here to the right. But it didn't look like, 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 like me or you. I don't know what the fuck it was. Okay. But it was a, whatever it was, it was a, it was a masculine being. And it was talking to me telepathically. And... They told me it was the captain of the ship. This is a true ass story. And they told me it was the captain of the ship. And I asked the being, like, it wouldn't identify itself though. When I asked specific questions, like, where you from? It didn't answer. And I asked him, like, what you doing? We're like, what are you doing to my body? And it was like, we're fixing you. And the being asked me for my permission. I gave him my permission. And then it kept touching, it kept, it kept going like this with my spine. And I kept feeling my pain increase. And I remember I was just gripping my teeth like, and it was, it was, it was, they say they were strengthening my nervous system so that I could channel. But, and I believe that because I do channel, but it was clicking me like this. And I remember the pain was increasing and the being kept 
ass communicating with me like, are you okay? Can we keep going? I kept saying, yeah, I could take it. I could take it. I could take it. And I was trying to be tough and take the pain. I remember the pain got so excruciating. I just came back to my body and I just, it ain't brought me back. Do you believe that maybe you probably Hell no, that wasn't. had a hallucination due to all the books you were over? Now, I'm going to stop her right there because then she kicks in. But this is fair use. Tasha is fair use. But I believe him. You know, just little things he say now. Like I said, when you become an adult and you start channeling and opening yourself up, you know, you doing mirror magic and doing these potions and tower cards, you open yourself up to these entities, these spirits, these demons to possess you. See, that's how a lot of these spirits are able to operate on this plane of existence. They need a body to do that. They need a body to possess to be able to, to act out um, maybe unfinished business. You know, and we see that now happening in government. A lot of what we see happening today is spiritual. Of course, it's manifested in the natural. But a lot of what we see happening is spiritual. We're dealing with interdimension beings, interdimensional beings, right? So I'm not going to be quick to judge Pharaoh. I just think that he lost himself. I think a lot of what we see, we see these beings that's possessing him, that's um, just that's actually working or uh, acting out in him. Uh, because when you're possessed, you actually take on certain characteristic traits or personality traits. Like if you don't smoke, if you don't drink, like if I start smoking and drinking, or I start cursing, or just doing things that's completely outside of my character, people around me is going to notice it. On YouTube, people will notice something's not right with Fearless. When did you start smoking? When did you start doing drugs? And I may come up with some type of excuse. And then with other people, it may just become, oh, well, that's what he do now. But people that really know me will probably say the same thing that people are saying about Pharaoh. Something is not right. Something is not right with him. So, again, like I said, when you when you open yourself up, when you become an adult and you start dabbling and you have these these beings or these spirits that possess you and you start acting out. The end is not good because more than likely you would end up going insane, losing your mind. You lose yourself. And these spirits will take possession of your body and use you up until it's done. And then you will either lose your life in some way or another. Could be suicide. Um, but you, you would end up being taken out of this world or this realm early. There are people that's in the psychiatric ward that is completely gone. They just sit there and just stare, motionless, you know, and, and they get therapy and everything, but they're, they're not there because something else had taken complete control and they lost themselves. Like I said, and, and you can't tell everything that you see. You can't mention everything that you know because you're either going to be looked at as someone that is crazy. And I don't think Pharaoh is crazy. I really don't think he's crazy. I don't think he have a mental, uh, a mental problem. Now, medically, they may say 
that he had psychiatric issues. But being a spirit being myself, I don't think so. I think this is more spirit. Coming up, the way I came up, the things that I've seen. As a matter of fact, and I'm going to end this video. There's a video on my dream channel that I'm going to put a link on the bottom. And I want you guys to check that video out uh, where I talked about where I was taken by these angels. I don't know if I actually died in this, in this, in this vision or uh, this experience. But I was like chilling with the angels, man, out in the universe, right? They were black angels, cold black angels. And I spoke on this in the past. They were cold black angels. And I was asking them questions. And they, when they spoke to me, it wasn't like they their mouth was moving and they spoke audible to me. You know, it's like they uh, communicated telepathically. Like Pharaoh was talking, right? And these angels brought me down. If anyway, I'm not going to tell you the whole um, experience. I'm going to let you watch that video if you're interested. But I'm going to put the link to that video or that, that video that I made, that experience I had with um, these cold black angels. They were black as black. I mean, cold black and they were uh, sparkling, you know? They were like sparkling and I'm just sitting there chilling and they were huge. They were big. I mean, giants, right? Uh, so I'm I'm going to end that vid this video right now and I'll put that link on the bottom here. But there's certain things when you have certain experiences, man. Uh, Pharaoh, if you even see this video, uh, some things you have to keep to yourself, man, or uh, find somebody that can relate to you because. A lot of times you think people are on your side and in, in agreement with you, but in reality, they're mocking you and they're only around you for what they can get from you. They're using you because in their mind, they're thinking that you're crazy. And you may even be aware of what they're doing, but because of the fact that um, you're lonely, because it, it gets quite lonesome like when you have certain spiritual gifts and you have certain experiences or you're different and you know you're different you know it, it gets pretty lonely because people can't relate to you they can't understand you or overstand you you know um and then you start doing things to try to fit in you have to learn how to be content with you. You have to learn how to love you and not allow someone else to dictate you or who you are. You have to learn to be an individual. And once you start learning how to gain um, control over yourself, your own mind, your own emotions, then you become fearless. You become unstoppable and no one can move you and once you make up in your mind to do something or not do something peer pressure can't stop you it's like what we see happening today with this pestilence and how people are given options that either you do this or you lose your livelihood you have to be strong enough to be able to continue to stand on your own stand solid be steadfast, unmovable. So I'm going to end it here. I'm going to put a link to that, that vision I had where these angels, where I was chilling with these angels. And like I said, I, I believe him. I believe Pharaoh. And the people that call him crazy and say that he's not all there, it's only because they don't understand. So feedback Tell me what you think. Subscribe. Until next time. I'm fearless.